Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Yesterday, Apple held their annual developer conference at their Cupertino headquarters. New software was announced for iOS, macOS, watchOS, and iPadOS. Today we will take a look at some of the key new features from each of them. Starting off with iOS 15 where they first announced an update to FaceTime. Apple says that video calls can sound more immersive, making the conversation seem more face-to-face. -face. With the introduction of spatial audio, the person's location on the screen will replicate the same audio from the same direction. There is also FaceTime support for Android and Windows users via the web, which brings this new feature to FaceTime, FaceTime Links, where you can create a FaceTime call in advance and send the link to other participants. Furthermore, SharePlay is now within FaceTime, allowing you to share your music, entertainment, or screen with others on the same call. This is similar to the Share Your Screen feature like on Zoom. Next within iOS 15 is a new notification summary. You can filter out certain notifications and only have relevant apps notify you within a clean and organized summary. There is also a new feature called Focus Mode. Depending on the type of activity you are currently performing, you can filter out certain apps or notifications to better your productivity. Moving to the Photos app, there is a new feature called Live Text. Simply, if you take a picture of text, you can easily select it and turn it into usable text that you can save. This is great for selecting phone numbers within images. With Apple Wallet comes the ability to save your US driver's license and use it at airports within select states. Apple also announced more support for hotel, amusement park, and house keys. One of the coolest features within iOS 15 is the new updated maps. There is now a more detailed, immersive 3D look along with a worldwide globe feature. Now let's move to macOS. This year's name is macOS Monterey. Apple first announced universal control, offering a seamless experience between Mac and iPad. Simply, you can use the same keyboard and cursor on one device and easily move that cursor to another Mac or iPad nearby. This is similar to the sidecar feature already on Mac. Apple also announced AirPlay to Mac, bringing a similar experience of AirPlay from the Apple TV. Moving to Safari, there is a major redesign, including new tabs and tab groups, where you can group multiple tabs based on the task you are performing. Within Safari on iPhone and iPad, you can also download web extensions like Honey or Grammarly. WatchOS 8 includes a new redesigned watch face, the ability to send photos on messages, new workouts, and an update to the popular Breathe app. Furthermore, iPadOS 15 includes a new dock layout, the ability to add a note within different apps with QuickNote, and Swift Playgrounds, where you can code apps using Swift right on iPad. To wrap it up, Apple took on more privacy features, including hiding your IP address within Mail and Safari. They also announced iCloud Plus, which is a new platform for iCloud that introduces new security features, such as Private Relay, essentially creating a VPN for your device, Hide My Email, and HomeKit Secure Video for security cameras. Overall, WWDC 2021 was a packed event full of new software features. Beginning today and this summer, all of the software is available for beta, but will be available in the fall for public release. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.